Hey guys, uh, just answering some questions I had got about uh, the switches I use and how to wire them. Um, I use these switches I use are from um, Radio Shack. These are just basic rocker switches, pass voltage. Um, they're rated for 6 amps at 120 volts, which should be fine for any cabinet. Because uh, if you'll notice, that uh, the maximum fuse will have in most cabinets will be 5 uh, amperage. So, um, a six amp switch should be fine um, and it should be fine for anything for breaking the incoming voltage to anything the game the monitor sound lights whatever so basically uh, how I wired it it's important to know the basics of the wiring um, you have L1 line voltage coming in and it goes to a load and the load can be anything it can be a light it can be a game board it can be whatever doesn't matter. And then coming out of the load you have another wire, uh, it's the return voltage, and it's usually a white wire um, in most uh, wiring applications. So all we're basically doing is breaking the supply voltage to create a switch to interrupt voltage to the load. So when you're done with it, it should look like this. You should just break line voltage, put the switch in between f before the load. So we'll take a look at it in the application. Um, as you know, here's the switch. It's just got two. Uh, here is the on. As you can see, the white dot on, and the blank space is the off. And um, so we're looking at my PlayChoice audio board, <clears throat> and it's got three wires coming into it: a uh, blue, green, and a white. Uh, in most wiring applications, the white will be your return voltage, the green will be your ground, and the multicolor, or in this case it's blue, sometimes it'll be black or brown or red or yellow, whatever it is, uh, will be the line voltage, supply voltage coming in. And so basically that's the one you're going to want to break uh, to create a switch for whatever you're creating a switch for. So you can see right here where I broke mine. Here was the line voltage coming in from the game, and it usually just went right into the uh, transformer for the audio board but um, I broke it I took it to the switch and I brought it back from the switch and brought it in so uh, the switch controls it now so uh, I did that on my play choice I did that for basically everything on the game and uh, let's see if we can't I don't think we're able to see it without any lighting and I don't have any lighting out here, so we're just going to have to hope we can see the switches. You can kind of see the black dots under there. There's five of them. And um, the switches break the voltage, so the very last switch... Oh, lost my focus. The very last switch turns on the DC lights. And uh, I, as I said, it's rated at um, 6 amps or 120 volts. As long as you don't go over that rating, you can use it for whatever voltage you want. Uh, right? Uh, I used it for 5 volt DC lights. The same, same rocker switch I just showed you. And I also have one for the marquee up here. Like I told you all in an earlier video, I don't play with those on because there's no reason to waste the lights. But as you can see, you just flip the switch off and it'll shut right off. Same thing for the audio, video, and gain. You can shut uh, video off, leave the game running, and you still hear the audio going. Turn it back on, bam. So that's it, guys. Um, they're just basic switches, breaking voltage to make it uh, easier on you for troubleshooting and playtime wise. Thanks, guys.